see some scattered storms in our area as well this evening, and some storms could produce damaging winds. For more on that, let's get to meteorologist Brittany Beggs back in the studio. Brittany. Latrice, it's the same storm system, but yes, we are not expecting large hail like that. In fact, the risk of hail later today, it's much lower for us. So the biggest risk is going to be the damaging wind gusts. Isolated, though. Anytime we're under a marginal risk, it means a strong storm or two. So we're not looking at any widespread uh, damage as a possibility later today. I want to emphasize that. So let's get to what's out there right now. We have some showers rolling through Mon Eagle right now and over Dunlap. Pikeville getting a little bit of light rain. Uh, so some good news to report. We need this rainfall. A lot, of the, a lot of the corn has gone in over the last week or two, and our corn needs this rain. Uh, so a little bit of light rain starting to approach Spring City. <clears throat> Out of Crossville, we also need this rain knock this pollen down. I'd like to have at least a week, maybe a good, at least a day. Give me one day without taking some allergy medicine. So this rain is a good thing. It's definitely needed. So the storms, though, they're going to move in this evening. That's going to be our greater risk when we could have a strong storm or two. I'm going to put it any time after 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. And then we're going to lose that instability and then still maybe some rain until about midnight. But then tomorrow, I've taken our rain chance down even lower to 10%. So tomorrow is it's looking nice, it's looking cooler, and there'll be lower humidity for your Friday. Saturday is looking really nice too. Sunshine, that will be the pick day of the weekend. We're still watching some rain that could move in by Sunday evening. Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, I think are going to be A-OK. -okay. But Saturday, uh, but overall, from Friday into Saturday, it's looking like to be a good time to be out on the water if you're itching to be out there. So here's our severe outlook for this evening. This is just another way of looking at that graph that I showed you earlier. It's not this general threat, but it's the isolated threat, and it's not scattered. So earlier today, the Storm Prediction Center put us under this guy, but since those storms have started to get going, the system is starting to evolve. They're thinking, hey, it's not going to be quite as hefty. It's going to be probably just an isolated risk if we get anything. So isolated, lowest threat there with wind gust to 58. So that's usually what that criteria means. So let me show you our rapid refresh. This is the hour by hour one, the, uh, the model that gets up, updated every hour. We're watching this rain that's going to be moving through our Tennessee counties this afternoon. And then here's 5 p.m. right over the Chattanooga area, Dunlap area, and near Dayton. This could get interesting at that point, but notice right around 6 p.m., 7 p.m., our rapid refresh is thinking there might be a nice hefty storm across Walker County and over Catoosa County. Now, this is going to change. This isn't Bible, but this gives us an idea that, hey, this, the forecast models are still picking up on maybe a strong storm or two. By the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hour, it's really done. Maybe a stray shower or two through about midnight, and then it's quiet through Friday and then quiet through Saturday. So we won't have any issues in the weather department by tomorrow morning. So our Vipercast rainfall, it's not going very hefty on the rainfall totals either. So we're not looking at localized flooding being a concern with this event. About a half an inch possible for Dalton. That's if you guys get under that hefty storm later today. Six tenths maybe out of the Blue Ridge area. Let's knock this pollen down. Mold is low. Grass is increasing. It's at 24. Poplar, pine, and now hickory has been included into that tree count at 453 today. And the air quality is in the low and the moderate range, but it's in the lower tier of the moderate range at 54. So low levels of ozone there. All right, there's your new seven-day forecast.